Maryland Sports Injury Center. Today we're going to go over the body weight squat. I'm going to demonstrate it from the front and from the side. From the front, what we're going to be looking for is keeping the knees out over the toes. So here we go. I'm going to put my hands out in front. And the main thing is I'm going to sit back and drive my knees apart as I sit down into the squat. My torso is going to remain erect and it can sit all the way down into the bottom of a squat. At the bottom, I want to make sure that I'm forcing my knees out without the insides of my feet coming off the ground, and then I can come back up. From the side, looks like this. Sitting back, sitting back. You never want to think down. You always want to think back. Sitting down, sitting down, sitting down, sitting down, always thrusting my knees apart. The stance for the feet, about shoulder width, either feet pointing forward or slightly toed out. So here's the progression to get to the point where you can do a good body weight squat. If you have a squat rack or a door with firm handles, make sure the handles on the door are firm because you don't want it loose and you don't want to fall. I'm going to grab the squat rack low and what this is going to allow me to do is have the confidence to really sit back. So I'm going to hold on because if I let go, I'm going to fall backwards. I'm going to sit back and get the weight on my heels and get right to the bottom. And what you will find for those of you with knee pain is you will be able to sit right back into a full squat without any knee pain as long as you're sitting back and driving the knees apart, weight on the heels. So that's step one in your progression. You can start by doing sets of five reps up to five or ten sets. But do them in sets of five reps because your technique is paramount on each repetition. Once you've mastered the squat, holding on to the squat rack or holding on to doorknobs, get a chair, put it against something that's firm, preferably against the wall. This is against a refrigerator so the chair is not going to slip back. And the next thing I can do is just simply sit down. People are afraid of squatting, but in actuality, we get in and out of chairs all day, every day. So this is a very, very important skill. I'm going to put my feet same width apart, and I'm going to simply sit back into the chair with as light a touchdown as I can. And this gives you the safety of if you fall back quickly, you're just sitting in the chair. As I get out of the chair, I can lean my torso forward and drive my knees apart. So I'm going to sit down softly, stand up, drive my knees apart. Once again, sit back softly and drive my knees apart. So every time you sit and get in and out of a chair, you need to practice this technique.